Hi, I'm back here again in SwiftPod's back office, and in this video I'm going to be talking about inventory adjustments, which is used in SwiftPod's to adjust stock levels of an item or a set of items. You might, for example, use it to correct uh, an error that was made while doing a stock take or doing a transfer, or you might use it to correct the stock on hand value of a product, which is not accurately reflecting what you actually have on hand. And I'll go ahead and walk you through how to do that now. In Swift Pause Back Office, navigate to Inventory and then Adjustments. You can check that your trading date is correct and then you can set a reference name. And at this point, you're ready to start populating your grid. So you can click on Add Row and you'll see that the grid is arranged very similar to how we've seen other grids arranged in Swift Pause. The only column which might not look familiar is the type column. In the type column, we're specifying what kind of adjustment we're doing. So you might like to say it's damaged goods, returns, wastage, or in my case, it's just going to be a simple adjustment. We'll also choose the location where we're adjusting stock. In this case, I'm going to choose location two. And if you know what the barcode is, you can input that right here. But if you're not sure, you can press enter on your keyboard and open up the search products screen. Choose the product that you'll be adjusting. And then you'll want to specify the quantity which is being adjusted. You'll also see what the current stock on hand is. And presumably if you're adjusting this item, then this number is going to be incorrect. If our stock on hand is 24, but the actual stock on hand is only 10, then we need to adjust this down by 14 units. So we'll put negative 14 in the quantity column and press enter. And now we can add another item to the grid if we need to. You'll see that the type and the location have remained the same. However, if you are doing adjustments in various different locations, you can add different locations to your grid and have a mixture of different location adjustments all in the same adjustment. So here I'm going to choose the same product. And in this case, I'm adjusting the bottle shop location from negative 24 stock on hand to 48. Great, now that that's done, we can preview the adjustment by clicking on preview. We'll get a recap of exactly what we've posted as well as the total cost associated with those stock movements. We can print this off or save it locally. And then when you're ready, you can hit commit. Now I'll check on that product in products and product records. And here we can see that the bar location has been reduced to 10, while the bottle shop location has been increased to 24. It says 24 here, even though I put 48 in the adjustment field. That's because it was accounting for the negative 24 that it originally started with. Great, so that's adjustments covered. It's pretty easy to do and doesn't take very long. And it's a good way of correcting just a few small items rather than carrying out a complete stock take. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.